G'day guys, it is Ben here from Hunt the Night. Now, what we're going to do today in art class is have a look at uh, the difference between running a 640 sensor and a 384 sensor and the effect that it has on zeroing. Okay, now we're going to talk about this initially about like for like because there's a lot of things that will influence this. Um, you know, um, the the field of view has a big influence, the software, whether the color, the reticle is color or black and white, because a, a, a color reticle is two pixels wide on the screen, where a black and white reticle is one pixel, right? So there's a lot of things that are gonna influence this. So we're gonna talk a little bit of concept. So we, we're gonna talk about in terms of using um, the Pulsar, the XQ50 and XP50, because the Thermians, because that's as close to comparing apples to apples as we can, because it's the same software, it's the same objective lens, uh, it's just sensor size that's different. So all the specs are gonna line up for how we wanna do this. Um, so when we start with this, it's we'll start with our sensor, okay? And, and say this is our 640 sensor. Okay, and, and as we've talked about in previous videos, um, this is, you know, it's 640 and in the pole side, this is 480. So it's 640 rows and, and, and sorry, columns and 480 rows, okay? And all that information is, is interpreted by a core. And we'll just put the core here because it's important to understand that it goes into a core and a computer. And that spits out information onto this little screen here. And typically speaking, these screens are 0.39 of an inch across and they're 1020, uh, 1024 by 768 in resolution, okay? And let's not talk about drawing and scale and all that type of stuff, it's just information. So this 640 by 480, it goes into the core, the core interprets it and throws it up on this screen. And then we have on this screen here, we've got all our overlay informations uh, including our, our reticles, okay? And our reticle looks like that. Now, just like our, our, our sensor, this is, you know, 1024 columns and it's 768 rows. That's the dimensions of it. And if we look at our XP50, we have a field of view on here in two magnification of 12.4 degrees at 100 meters. And that gives us a click value. And when I say click value, I'm talking about reticle and when we're, when we're changing the reticle and zeroing, that gives us a value of 21 millimeters of 100 at 100 meters. Every time we move this reticle one pixel, it's 21 millimeters. And it's, it's limited by that because it's a wider field of view, but this screen, you can't move a half pixel. And if it's a color reticle, that's gonna be two pixels, but it can only move its minimum increment value is one pixel, okay? And it's important to understand that and how field of view has an impact because when we take a 384 sensor and we put it across the same screen and the XQ50 has got a field of view of 7.5 and it's got 3.5 magnification instead of two magnification. So everything is going to look bigger on this screen. So a fox, for instance, we'll talk about a fox because you know we, we see a lot of foxes in Australia. Uh, we could call it a pig, whatever, right? Anything you look at this on this screen at the same distance is going to appear bigger. So when we actually zero a target at 100 meters, it's going to look bigger on an XQ50 than an XP50. So this is going to move less. On an XQ50, the click value at 100 meters is 13 millimeters because the target looks bigger. So if you're looking for supreme accuracy in like for like scenario, a 384 sensor is going to give you more accuracy. Now, this is where screen resolution is important, okay? Because if we have a look at the new infrared screens on some of their devices, and I'm sure we'll start to see these in other ones, and this is a 2560 by 25, Ugh, 60 screen. So it's got, you know, 2,500 by, you know, 2,500 effectively. And this is now also a one inch. It's actually 1.3, uh, 1.03 inch screen. It's a bigger screen. But in their infrared TH50, which is a 640 by 512 sensor with a field of view of 8.8. .8. So it's still got a bigger field of view than the TQ50, but because it's got such a high resolution screen, it's got a 12 millimeter increment value 
um, because it can move the reticle less because it's got more pixels to play with. So guys, that's basically how it works. That's the, the base. Now, again, there's gonna be other influences in terms of software and um, you know, reticles and, and so on. But in a like-for-like -like scenario, a 384 sensor is going to give you a more accurate zero than a 640 sensor. Anyway, there it is, guys. There's some information that you may or may not have known um, based on the poll that we ran on our Facebook group. This is going to be news to about 44% of you of the respondents who thought a 640 sensor was going to be more accurate to zero. Anyway, that's it, guys. Have a wonderful day. Uh, enjoy it. Don't forget to uh, tag a vegan.